Despite a cooler start to this Tuesday, it turned out to be a, a very nice afternoon. Temperatures down south in the mid 70s, upper 60s to around 70. Got a little warm front, uh, the dividing line, but that will arc through and we've got some summer like air on the way mid into the late week. Rain and storms ramp up Friday and into Saturday and another shot of some cool to chilly air as we close out the upcoming weekend. Notice here on our max HD radar and satellite a little bank of cloudiness and you even see a few little specks of green. That's just moisture aloft. Of course, it is evaporating before it reaches the ground, but our in-house data was kind of latch it on to this this time yesterday all due to that warm front that is arcing uh, right across the heart of the bluegrass as we speak you see a little bit of cloudiness filtering the sun out our bluegrass pace care skyview hd camera network down in richmond right at 70 so uh, still feeling pretty good across the board winds are generally light south of the boundary mid 70s along and north of it upper 60s to around 70 but everyone will get in on the summer like air beginning tomorrow you see down here to our southwest bowling green at 80 nashville 83 78 in paducah so you get the idea we're going to feel pretty good over the next couple of days not so good is the tree and grass pollen will be high on wednesday mold and weeds low for now here's your front laid out right across the heart of the bluegrass high pressure dominating a good chunk of the eastern part of the country only exception being new england where that upper low continues to spin but we'll firmly be into the warmer air in fact you see here on our future cast it's got that little bank of cloudiness over the area as we speak you see it begin to diminish and shift northeastward so overnight mid to upper 40s maybe a 50 here and there and then we'll see a nice warm-up good bit of sunshine 80-ish here in the bluegrass, low 80s down south, and we'll do better than that as a high pressure gives way on Thursday at southwest wind. It'll be kicked up about 10 to 15 tomorrow, more 15 to 20 mile per hour winds on Thursday, so low 80s and even some mid 80s potentially down south. Here's your front. Now, it's not going to sweep through. It's going to move in, slow down. So that'll keep rain and storms around on Friday, but the issue is this low is going to creep up the stalled out front right across the heart of the bluegrass into the upcoming weekend. So as a result, we hang on to the rain and storms, especially Friday night into Saturday early. Eventually, we'll see the rainfall come to an end, I think, as we get a little deeper into Saturday. But temperatures are going to drop off. And then look at Sunday, a sprinkle or two early, but that northwest flow kicks in. And yeah, you see a little pink and blue over the mountains of West Virginia. That's an indication some chilly air is coming back. So the roller coaster ride with temperatures continues, warm air out ahead of that boundary. And then once we finally see that thing kick out of here, we're going to have a couple of days with some cooler air, maybe a little frost potential coming up early next Monday. Tonight, it will clear out, mostly clear, a little bit on the cool side, mid to upper 40s, 80 tomorrow here in the bluegrass, low 80s down south, lots of sunshine, just a really nice day. Enjoy the next few days because we have those changes on the way. Friday, low 70s, rain and storms, just general rain, I think that 58 early, and then as the low spins out, we'll be dropping into the low 50s by the end of the day. And yes, breezy Sunday, just a early chance of a shower. I think we're really going to struggle to even get out of the 40s for afternoon highs. And Monday morning, as mentioned, we could make a run toward the freezing marks so of some frost potential there. But temperatures do recover out ahead of another system heading our way about a week out.